Hello, this video is for you as a human design projector learning how to manage your energy more effectively, more efficiently. Running a business and a leadership role, we need endurance. We need endurance to be able to serve our clients. We need endurance to show up like this and be visible. We need endurance to go out and build relationships with other people, to be actively involved in other communities, to be able to support us in growing our business. We need endurance to grow our business. We need endurance not just to grow our business, we need endurance to sustain it. Once we've grown it, we need to be able to hold the energy of that business. And this is what can be quite difficult sometimes, definitely in my own experience, my own experience being a projector and also, you know, working with projectors, working with projectors who are business owners and female leaders and also being in the company of projectors that you know, sometimes it's difficult to know how to manage our energy as human design projectors because we live in a world of generators and manifesting generators, who are these amazing, magnetic, sacral beings who have bags and bags of energy. Well, as long as they're doing work that lights them up and they're feeling fulfilled and they're not feeling frustrated, they have all this energy, right? 70% of the population, 70% of the whole human race operate like that and hold that energy. And then projectors, 20% of the population, we don't have that sacral energy. And sometimes it's like, okay, so I'm comparing myself to this person who has got endurance and who is going out and giving it large and I don't feel like that. So what do we do? We compare ourselves to others. We beat ourselves up and judge ourselves and name, like, name that feeling like I'm lazy, I'm not a go-getter, I'm not successful, I'm not cut out for this. This is what we do when we're comparing ourselves to those amazing sacral beings as projectors. So I wanted to record this video for you and just hoping that you get to see this as a human design projector, whether you're watching me live or whether you're watching the replay and it falls in your lap when you most need to hear it because this is what happens with these things, right? You're seeking for some answers and then I might be the person that kind of shows up and gives you some of those um, answers to your questions and maybe some struggles that you're going through at the moment managing your human design projector energy and as I'm recording this we are at winter solstice so uh, happy solstice we are going into the longest night of the year and I love this time of year because we are going through this long night and then we're going to be going back into the days and slowly and slowly and slowly the days are going to get longer and longer and longer, right? And what does that mean? It means rebirth. It means that we're, it doesn't, might not feel it like at the moment, but we are coming into, we'll be coming into spring very soon. So that means that the whole world will be waking up again. Nature will be rebirthing, nature will be more energized. There will be more energy around, Right? So we are a part of that process. We are energy beings, we're energy creatures. So how amazing that I'm able to share this with you today on winter solstice, speaking about energy. So if you have any questions while I'm recording this live, then please um, come and say hello, comment below, ask me any questions. I'm always happy to do it. And also on the replay as well. Ask any questions that you might have below. I am going to be holding a five-day free event starting on January the 8th. 
I'll share the details with you at the end of this video, but this is one of the things that I'm gonna be talking about and sharing about how to manage your energy as a human design projector, because we've been so, well, most of us, a lot of us, I'm not saying all of us, but a lot of us have been deeply conditioned to be like generators and manifesting generators, i.e. the energetic workers, as we are stepping into leadership roles, as we're growing our business, as we're building our business. So very often when my clients definitely, you know, if they don't know what human design they are, and then they find out their projectors, it often falls into two camps. They're either so happy because it almost validates how they've been feeling and they can stop beating themselves up for feeling that way, i.e. I don't have loads of energy, what's wrong with me? So they're either like, oh, okay, this feels really good, or they're very disappointed because they don't think that they will be able to be a dynamic leader as a human design projector. They don't think that they will be able to build a successful business as a human design projector. And I beg to differ. I have a line six, human design, uh, which means I'm a role model, which means that uh, it's very important for me to model what I'm talking about. And I model what I'm talking about. So I am an example of how you can grow a business and create success and fulfillment from that business as a human design projector. I am a, a human design emotional four six projector and i have many clients and many women in my community who are also projectors and are building incredible businesses despite the fact that they're projectors right <laughs> no i always laugh when i say that despite the fact they're the projectors because they're projectors they are building incredible businesses because they're projectors, because projectors are incredible leaders. But projectors need to learn how to manage their energy to be able to build that sustained business. So there's a few things that I wanted to share today that I want you to just take away and digest and practice and really take into your heart. Meditate over it um, in this beautiful um, time that we're experiencing. You know, I always think this time of year is really, it's just such a beautiful time to be able to just reflect and be able to plan and build, of course, but also to look inwards, right? So this is some information that you can go and take away. And hey, it doesn't matter if you're watching this on YouTube and you know, it's a hot summer's August day. Uh, whatever time that you're watching this, then take it away and contemplate with it, right? Really let it sit, really let it land. One of the things that I would definitely recommend that you start to work on and you start to be very conscious and aware of as a human design projector is to stop judging yourself. So whatever name you are giving to your energy, um, I can use myself as an example. When I worked in corporate, I used to call myself lazy because I was comparing myself to others who were able to work all day long and, um, and I just couldn't do it. Well, I say I couldn't do it, I did it because I didn't really have a choice or let me just re let me just reword that reword that I didn't feel that I had a choice because I didn't have my boundaries in place around it so what did I do I worked really hard to prove myself and I burnt myself out and it's very it can be very dangerous to projectors to work hard to overwork um, to get to that stage of burnout um, it can really damage our health and you know, for me, it affected my heart. I developed a, quite a serious heart condition because I was just work, 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 work. Now, I don't want to scare you. I'm not saying that if you work really hard and you're a projector that you're going to get a heart complaint. Of course I'm not. But I just want you to be really aware that as a human design projector, you are not designed to work hard. 
You're not designed for that sustained work. So number one, stop judging yourself. Stop beating yourself up, up about it and start to think about how can I approach this in a different way? How can I still build a successful business and feel successful being able to manage my projector energy? So, so number one, stop beating yourself up. Number two, look at your strategy and look at ways that you're going to be able to sustain your energy. So first of all, many of my projector clients and many of the projectors that are that surround me really are, are very strategic about this and build it into their schedule they actually have blocks of time within their calendar where they can go and take some time off where they can go and rest now it's for you to experiment experiment with this because <clears throat> when you're not working you need to think about what am i going to be doing to rest now just as success means different things to different people rest means different things to different people so for me personally rest means going and having a nap i love to go and have a nap even if it's like five ten minutes in the middle of the day i will scope out my day and i'll put some time in there for a rest for a nap Sometimes I don't need a nap. Sometimes I don't need it. Sometimes I do, but it's always there. It means that I can wake up. I can have a quick nap. I can take a big glass of water. I'm refreshed. I zhuzh my hair up and then I'm off for the rest of the day. For you, it might mean just, you know, sitting in a corner and meditating, or it might mean going for a walk in the countryside or going for a walk around your neighborhood. It might be going and taking yourself to a quiet corner somewhere and journaling. Whatever that means to you, that rest is time away from work. And you know, I know that every single human being can benefit from this, but it's really, really important for projectors to do that. Really start to think about rest is work. Rest is part of your business strategy build it into your business strategy it's so so important okay so number one stop judging yourself for that you don't have as much energy as a generator manifesting generator to look at rest as work rest is your business strategy and number three I mentioned it um, in the beginning, but also look at your boundaries. Do you have boundaries in place where you are able to protect your energetic reservoir? Do you have strong boundaries in place? How often do you say no? How often do you say, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that today. You know what? I'm just going to sleep on that. You know what? I can do that for you, but it will be on your desk next week. Or I can have that meeting, but we're going to have it next week. Because again, it will really be in your benefit and it will help you enormously within your own self-leadership, of course, to have those boundaries, but also as you're growing your business to have that, that, those boundaries, because that means that you can rest and you're not working all the time. I have so many examples of women that I know, women that I've either worked with when they've got to this stage or women that are in my life who have built these big businesses. They've got to multiple six figures, seven figures, and they are absolutely knackered by the time they get there. They're absolutely burnt out. And guess what? They're not enjoying it. And it's been a struggle and it's been hard work and it's been hustle and they're not designed to hustle. And when they understand about their human design projector energy, they can start to look at things in a different way, start to delegate tasks, start to be more strategic, protecting their energy, put those boundaries in place. And guess what? As a result of that, just have a far happier, more fulfilled life, right? Don't feel anxious, don't feel stressed, don't feel burnt out. And then they're able to then, the times that they are working, 
it's like those pockets of time are just incredible. So instead of feeling burnt out and frazzled all the time, they can really start to focus on those short bursts of time, right? That they're able to get so much done. Then they can go and rest. Then they can come back, work again, short bursts of time, go away and rest. If you're new to this, you're probably thinking, that's crazy, I can't run my business like that, what will people think of me? I can't just turn around and say that I'm gonna go for a nap. Of course, everyone's schedule is different, your business is different, the way that you approach your business is different. I want you to remind you that you are the CEO of your business. You're a leader and you get to decide what is good for you and what isn't good for you. What will create success within your business? What won't create success within your business? What will create happiness in your life? What won't create happiness in your life? And if you are not in a position to be able to do that in your current situation, then maybe it's time to look at your situation and to create another situation that you are able to live in that will give you the ability to be able to work and run your business and live your life in that way. That is how you are going to be an incredible leader and a very, very well-paid guide because people will pay you to hang out in your abundant, successful projector energy. They will not pay you to hang out in your bitterness. So it's your choice. You decide, <clears throat> am I going to lean into the feelings of success? Am I going to lean into the feelings of bitterness? If you allow yourself to rest and not work hard and not hustle all the time, then you will be at that higher vibrational level of success. And then more things will be attracted into you that will help you feel more successful. You'll get all the opportunities. You'll get more opportunities, more clients, like more money, whatever it is that you want to bring into your business, right? So next month, starting January the 8th, every day at 4pm GMT, which is UK time, I am going to be running a, a live online workshop it's called Elevate Your Projector Leadership and it's all about how to be a more effective leader as a human design projector. And this is going to be an experience. I want you to come in and start to experience the energy, like what it feels like. What does that success feel like to you as a human design projector? I want you to leave each day feeling lit up, energised, ready to go out there and make things happen as we step into this new 2024 year, okay? But not make it happen like a manifester would make it happen, who is designed to initiate. Not make it happen like a generator, a manifesting generator, who is designed to have the sustained energy. Not make it happen like a reflector, who is designed to wait the whole moon cycle to make decisions. You are going to learn how to make things happen as a beautiful human design projector. And this is not passive energy it's not passive leadership it's quite the opposite but there is a strategy and there are techniques to learn in order to bring that abundance into your business and into your life and to be a highly highly effective and well respected and successful leader so if you are a human design projector in a leadership role you're a female founder, you're a CEO, you're an entrepreneur, you're a coach, you're a practitioner, you're in a leadership role, you want to learn how to be a more effective leader as a human design projector, then I'd love to invite you in to come and join us on this beautiful journey starting January the 8th. I haven't really even started to advertise it properly now. I'm just mentioning it every now and again when I do a video. 
Um, but we've already got over, I think we're at about 70 now um, who have joined us. And, you know, I am role modeling being a projector. There's a few people that have invited me into this and said, look, we'd really love for you to run an event um, purely for projectors in leadership roles. And I'm like, OK, you've invited me in. That is lighting me up. I'm doing it. So we're doing it. So if you want to join us, head over to my website, abigarebecca.com forward slash leadership, abigarebecca.com forward slash oh no is it leadership or is it leaders hang on a minute i've actually put it in um i've actually put it i think in the title in here so you'll be able to find it but i want to make sure that i'm giving you the right url Le uh it's abigarebecca.com leadership yes i was right abigarebecca.com leadership come join us come and sign up, um, save your spot. Um, it will, it's completely free. We're going to be, uh, going live, as I said, every day from the Monday to Friday, every day, we're going to be talking about something different. You're going to have the ability to ask me questions, to be able to connect in with the other women, um, that are coming on this journey with us and men actually we've had some men med register which is amazing because i re i always market to women i talk about women leadership but actually i'm all about really supporting the men as well in this so it's going to be an amazing event i'd love to see you there um let me know how you are finding putting all of this into place and of course if you have any questions in the meantime then please reach out to me either below or send me an email hello at abigarrebecca.com happy winter solstice and uh wishing you uh just you know seasonal greetings whatever you're celebrating over the weekend i hope you have a blooming amazing time um, with the people that you love and um, i will be going live again here next week so i'll see you before 2024 just sharing some more nuggets about you uh, as a human design projector so i will see you then have a great day everyone